Hi guys, and today I am showing you my uh, project what I created for the Wild Bunch using uh, paper flowers and um, before I will show you what I created, I will explain you few, uh, show you a few um, flowers what I was using in my project. So for example, I was using that um, cherry blossoms, uh, that pink or oh, that um, bluish color. This is code. I will put all that codes um, in my descriptions box. Then I was using one of gardenia. It's a three and a half centimeters um, gardenias. Then I was using um, that that type of flowers. What was in this in this set? Uh, and it's set of pink uh, mixed pink flowers. So I forgot name for that flowers, but I will put. Um, uh, zip co uh, coat for that flowers too. Then I was using the puppy and uh, two colors of uh, puppy actually. One is white and one is pink. So this is beautiful flowers. I really like that flowers. Then I like that uh, tulips but this is old uh, autumn coat I will put a uh, uh, coat to the new but the product is the same it's it's very um, light pink very beautiful flowers then I was using the rosebuds actually I was using the rosebuds six millimeter rosebuds and the four millimeters rosebuds white and pink particular that pink and white um you will see one of that flat back pearls. Uh, I always like to use leaves in my uh, in my uh, projects, and then this I was using that pink, and the, in you will see more dark pink. I just put it more um, str more, more um, uh, my um, ink, so make it more dark. And then I was using that flowers. But uh, I don't have this. Is actually was sending me as a gift. Like each time when you post order, they always will send you gifts. So I will put code for that flowers. So this is what goodies I was using flowers I was using here. And let me show you my project. And today I created that. Um, actually, this is a clock with uh, frame pictures together. So that particular uh, that particular product I bought in um, a thrift store for a couple of that bucks, but it's it works. So uh, I painted first, and then I put it that beautiful um, bouquet right there. So um, let me explain. Of course, I put uh, like. Um, paper under but here is my bouquet and this is how it came out because the frame you can move it so the frame you can fold it like this way let me zoom it one more time for you so you can put one way or if you don't like you can put only clockways so um, I tried to, to make something what uh, put when you will if you want to do both way you the, the bokeh will kind of like stay like one piece so it was not very hard I just put the biggest bokeh on that frame because this is uh, actually will be pictures right there and um, you probably already realized I like to use real colors of the uh, flowers so sometimes I put like a little Chisel, but usually I use them like is because I think the wild orchid craft flowers are so delicate and it's such a it's the best quality what I saw so far so this is why I'm I, I'm really happy with result when I receive just flowers so I don't want to change their look a lot so this is again this is the biggest uh, the big uh, flowers what is um, cherry blossom see this is cherry blossom here and same color but small um, uh, small uh, blue 
and then gardenzi in the middle and this is my um lolly uh, my poppy pink right there and if you will look inside you will see I have poppy right there and tulips just in the corner so what I did here I uh, put the um, paper from my stash and then I added extra extra pearls like black pearls there and uh, of course I put the new numbers uh, it's plastics number so and um, I want they will be stand out so this is why they pick I pick up black and few leaves um, near the tulips even then it's rose leaves I think leaves is always when I put it on bouquet it gives me a little bit more real look this is why I really like to use um, um, leaves there and then here on the small part of bouquet I use the metal charm bird cage and see see this this um leaves here they're more uh pinky and it's because i was just using the distress ink on that on that pink see just using the green on one side and the pink on another side it's exactly same flowers just see i even put the brown here a little bit um and here oh i always love that tiny tiny roses four millimeter roses I, I like to work with that tiny flowers and this is my favorite flowers i love it so much and uh it came from the set and this is um 10 millimeter rose buds and 4 millimeter rose buds you probably can recognize that uh, plastic thing and this is my uh, flat back pearls um, because um, originally you can use any side like uh, one side or another side I decided to put lace from my stash around on the clock but didn't put a lot of things here but just uh, when you close, I uh, put that beautiful trim what I received from Neri. So thank you, Neri. And just um, put um, very light, light, lightly um, eggshells trim in the middle. So this is how my clock or picture frame looks like. And I actually like um, how it's turned out. It was a um, very easy project and um, hopefully you guys will like it and uh, I will put link below to the Facebook or to the store so you can go and look for other designers and see which we create every week. And I wish you all have a good day. Bye.